Hi everyone, Relitza here and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy for you to be joining me today for this video. We're going to be taking a look at who is really, 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 really appreciative to know you right now. Now, I thought that this would be a good video because I've just been thinking about, you know, everyone in my life who I feel so grateful for and I think it'd be kind of fun to figure out who's feeling the same about you. So all of the information here to book a personal reading is down below. Um, please email me, of course, if there's any questions about anything. Um, today we do have three piles to choose from. Pile one is the white candle, pile two is the red candle, and pile three is the black candle. I mean, do you really need to see them up close? But <laughs> pile one, pile two, and pile three. So of course, if you do need to take a minute to pause, please do so now so you can meditate on the candle and pick the one that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the big white candle. Let me clear the energy off first into my hands too. So spirit guides, angels and ancestors, I'm tapping into the collective here that chose pile number one, please. Um, who is really, really appreciative of pile number ones? Thank you. King of Wands, this could be a fire sign person, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Empress, Taurus and Libra. Thank you. Page of Cups, the Devil. Two more, Spirit. Who's really, 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 really appreciative? Nine of Cups in reverse. And one more. Five of Cups. Okay. So, pile ones, let's just list the signs right off the bat. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aries, Sag, and a couple of water signs, so we can have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pretty much, I feel like this is kind of a mixed bag. My loves, you could have up to three different people appreciative of you. We do have three different sort of court cards here. Um, I also do feel like this could be someone that you really helped out of a, a tough time. This could be a person who struggled with addiction, who struggled with addictive patterning, um, who really has just been through a difficult time. I feel like for this person, you kind of showed them so much love and compassion. I think for many of you, you might have pulled them outside of their comfort zone, really encouraged them to be happy, really encouraged them to go out with you, like just things like this, where it's kind of like you acted as, as a beacon of hope for this person. I do feel like this person might have heavily been struggling at some point with addiction or addictive patterning. This person might just um, have a difficult side or a difficult time um, seeing the good things about life. I do feel like this person is melancholy or pessimistic. I feel like for you guys, you did really show this person a lot of love, a lot of compassion, as well as a lot of fun. Like I feel like you might have cajoled this person to come out with you or hang out with you. This person could be very, very attractive too. I don't know why I'm getting that. Nice body, um, symmetrical face. I do also feel like this person does find you very attractive. This could be romantic or it could be platonic. I'm not really picking up strongly either way, but I do feel like for most of you, you were really a shining light to this person. You really came forward and showed this person so much love and appreciation when nobody else did. And this is why they're appreciative of you. I think this person would tell you that on their darkest days, you really stepped in. And I feel like for many of you, you don't even really know how much you mean to this person. But I feel like this person's higher self is coming through here to say thank you. I think you make this person laugh. I think you make this person smile. I also think this person really likes the way that you dress, the style you do have, and kind of your outlook as well. I just think that something about you really does make this person feel um, rejuvenated. I think some of you have been with this person on the very worst of their days and this person's just wanting to thank you for showing them grace and compassion when nobody else did. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to cry. I feel like maybe you guys have seen this person cry. Um, this person really does care for you. Sorry guys, I'm going to take a sip of water here. For those of you who know who this person is, but this person hasn't expressed their emotions, <clears throat> I do have to tell you that this person really does love you and they're super, super grateful to know you. <sighs> Goodness, really, to pull your stuff together. Okay, let's see what else we can figure out, my loves. 
For some of you, this person might not be living anymore. Wheel of Fortune, okay. Five of Pentacles in reverse, beautiful. Five of Wands, please. Who's appreciative of them? We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Who's appreciative, please, of my pile of Wands? Ace of Swords, the Star, and the Knight of Swords. Some of you could have known this person since you were young. I do feel like um, this person has been through a lot of ups and downs. I feel like, you know, that, like I don't know why I'm getting like fall from grace. I feel like maybe this person was super popular at some point in their lives, but then something happened to them. You uh, uh, show this person a lot of hope and a lot of kindness when nobody else did. I feel like a lot of people might have cut this person off or kind of isolated themselves from this person. This person might be spiritual or you guys might be spiritual. Take it vice versa. I do feel like a lot of people sort of abandoned this person. And I think now this person, for those of you who do know them, I feel like they are on the up and up. That being said, I feel um, very much like you guys really did show this person the way. Or some of you might have had a conversation here that really changed this person's perspective on things. Um, it's like every time you talk to this person, even if you knew that they were really... Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry again. Um, even if you knew that they were really in a bad place you guys did offer them sort of the compassion that and and i'm hearing humor too so i don't know if you guys like made this person laugh when they were really really in a dark place but um i think that for many of you you might have actually ended up saving this person's life <sighs> this person might be your age or younger or just have like a, an immature quality about them This person has been through a lot of ups and downs and I do feel like throughout it all, you guys have been nothing but supportive of them. So they're incredibly grateful to, to know you. Wow. Let's see what else we can find out. Tell me about pile one, please. Who's very appreciative of them? Strategy in reverse. Angel of balance. You could have another Libra. Libra vibes, angel of strength, Leo. I feel like spirit really did send you into this person's life, you guys. Third chakra, archangel, Shamael, man holding a heart. Community. Financial constraints in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could have helped this person with money. Okay, let's see what I'm getting here. Some of you, this could have been a romantic partner. Like I said, I am getting the sense that this person is very good looking. I am hearing symmetrical. I feel like they might have a very symmetrical face um, or they do have a charm about them. That being said, something about this person's life was incredibly out of balance. Um, and I feel like spirit really orchestrated you meeting this person in order to, to essentially um, help this person. I don't know if you guys would call yourselves this, but some of you are described here as uh, I'm hearing earth angels. So spirits really wanting to come through and thank you. Oh my gosh, I got to stop. You guys, I'm going to take another sip. One second. Thankfully, you can't see my face. I don't want to cry on camera. <sighs> okay. A lot of you, this person was just not feeling good about themselves. They could have really been strategizing here to do something really stupid. Like, I'm just going to say that. This person um, had a moment of self-worth, a lack of self-worth. Self -worth. They could also struggle here with balance. You might have met this person in the community, community, or this person could be in your community. For instance, it could be someone you know you go to school with or church or even someone online. I'm also hearing online. I feel like a lot of you might have helped this person out with money. You might have helped them really regain their stability. It was like you really shone the light for this person. Spirit, like there's three out of six cards, we have three spirit cards. So I do feel like spirit was very much working with this person and with you. Um, and I feel like you might have known this person over a long time. I'm hearing passing of seasons. This person um, is very grateful for the kindness you showed them. And again, I'm just hearing humor. So I feel like you did really lighten up this person's day. And with that community card, I'm getting that sense that you might have like forced this person to go out with you. 
go outside with you. And this person's really grateful because I don't think that they would have done that if it wasn't for you, of course. Okay, what else? Who's really appreciative of my pile ones right now? Please hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll take the shaman. What's on the bottom here? The mentor. Um, yeah, some of you guys are like super, super freaking good at healing. Okay, you might actually be mystics or psychics. For others of you, you might be, you might just be like older than this person. I was getting this person being your age or maybe a little bit younger, but I feel like you just knew that this person needed help. Like there was just part of you that really felt drawn towards reaching out to this person. Some of you might actually be healers or mystics. Oh my God, I can't make that shit up. Ooh, excuse me. Don't, don't demonetize this video, YouTube. Um, yeah, what did I say? You guys are like literal earth angels. I don't feel like this group, pile ones, I don't think that you know what kind of an impact you have on the people around you. And I don't think you even know the kind of impact you had on this person. The kiss. So for maybe, for some of you, this this was a romantic person. Um, I just feel like your love really transformed this person in ways that they can't even begin to tell you. You could have um, been friends with this person in a group of threes too. There was a lot of threes coming up for me in the other cards as well. I do feel like you guys were just not gonna give up on this person. Like you really wanted to shine a person's light. You wanted to shine their light back on themselves so that they could see how valuable they were and how worthy they were. And I feel like this person will always, always, always remember you for that. Whether this person tells you, they look up to you. For somebody, this person might also be physically attracted to you. If you have kissed this person or slept with this person, they do view that as a healing act. There's something about your presence that has fundamentally transformed this person. I feel like this person is never going to be the same after knowing someone like you. I feel like this person was kind of close to destroying their own life. They might have been very, just like in a bad state. Um, this person might have been close to making some rash or stupid discussion movements. Um, I am also hearing addictions when I, once again. So I do feel for some of you that this person um, could have struggled with addictions. This person could have longer hair regardless of uh, gender. I feel like this person, like I said, I feel like they might have been like really popular or something. And I don't know, I just keep hearing fall from grace. So I don't know if this person like went through some sort of a major transformative process. But regardless of that, it's like you were really there for this person on the worst of days and on the best of days. And that's why this person is so appreciative of you person really looks up to you. I feel like this person like actually um, can't even really talk about you without getting emotional. This person actually feels like you saved their lives. What else? Tell me about Pylon's person who appreciates them, please. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. For some of you, this person might not be here. Death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah. For some of you, this person might not be here anymore. This person have, could have transcended or passed to the spirit world. For others of you, this person was really just put through the ringers of grief. I'm like sensing it so deeply. I'm not really like, um, what's that called even? I forget what he, the Claire is even called. Claire feeling, Claire sentient. I, anyways, I don't really feel things very often. So I'm really surprised at how emotional I'm getting. I do feel like this person really, really went through it, you guys. and. I feel like this person might have transformed a lot of times in their life. They're like a completely different person now than they were before. This person might have gone through like a lot of ups and downs in terms of that. So that is what I have for you guys, pile one. I hope that that resonated. If it did, make sure to like and comment and of course subscribe if you haven't already. I just wanted to say thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry if I was a little bit weird or emotional. I just couldn't help it. That was a lot. I was very surprised. Um, and I will see you next video. Hi, pile twos. If you chose the red candle, then this is your video on, or your pile, on who is really, really appreciative of you. Let me just spray, because that energy was quite heavy from pile one. Okay.
spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. I'm tapping into the collective here that chose pile number two, please. Spirit, um, who's really appreciative of pile number two? What can you tell me about this person? Thank you. Two of pentacles, seven of cups. Wow. And the nine of wands. All right, let me get three more. Who's really appreciative? Eight of cups. Thank you. Five of wands. Holy smokes, nine of swords. Devil on the back of the deck. <sighs> well, our signs here are pretty much across the board. So I feel like this person could be any sign. The devil on the bottom of the deck makes me feel like this person could have Capricorn. Um, okay, you guys, for many of you, I do feel like this is a person who you had to walk away from. Perhaps this person was juggling you with another person. I'm hearing third party. I do feel like this person um, could have been older than you. This person really, really has a lot of regrets about the way this connection ended. I feel like they cry uh, about it at night. I feel like this person has always really pushed themselves to the limit. They could struggle with being decisive. They could struggle with addictions. They could struggle as well with overworking or competition. I feel like at heart, this is a really immature person who doesn't really know what they want. And I do feel like you really pinpointed to this person some of the ways that they really did need to change. This person kind of saw you as a gift from God or the universe, whatever you want to call it. This person, I think, regrets never... Oh my God, I'm going to cry again. They regret never um, showing you how much you, you meant to them. I feel like this person could have had you in a third party situation or maybe pretended like you didn't mean anything to them, like you weren't important, like something about this connection didn't actually matter. Um, but that was the farthest from the truth. This person has really been going through it since you ended this partnership or friendship. I feel, I do feel a romantic sense from this one, but it could also be a friendship. Just take it as it resonates. I feel like this person does feel like they have to do it alone. And I feel like they've been feeling really, really alone since you did part ways from them. This person really regrets, um, especially I'm hearing something about the last time you met or the last time you spoke, the last email, the last text. They go back and replay everything in their head. This person prays for your forgiveness. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Give me a second. This person does pray for your forgiveness and they hope that one day you'll find it in your heart. I'm hearing someone in this pile say, I've already forgiven them. And that is why this person is appreciative for you because you showed them compassion when maybe they didn't even deserve it. You showed this person love when they didn't deserve it. I feel like this person is quite sad, you guys, and I feel like they're quite confused about what it is that you wanted to do. And I think for some of you in this pile, you pulled your energy away because you were like, no, like I know that I'm worth more. And if you can't give it to me, I'm gonna find it somewhere else. And so you guys just kind of detached from this person. Let's see what else, please. Pile two, the world, yeah, something definitely ended here. Nine of Wands. We had the Nine of Wands twice. This person is incredibly having a very, very, very difficult time right now, you guys. Like, very difficult. This person is, like, close to burnout. A lot of nines here, so something did come to an ending here. I feel like you guys are just really sort of killing it. You might be single or alone. Um, but I feel like you look good. Your money's right. Like, there's a lot of things that's going on with you that's really positive right now like remember the nine of coins is pre-empress energy so you guys are really killing it <sighs> with the hermit here this person can't stop thinking about the way that things ended seven of cups on the bottom of the deck you guys this person had a lot of options and they might have just treated you as the option and not as the main priority here and that this person does regret that they really do this person could have virgo in their chart sun moon rising i'm also hearing venus Sorry, you guys, my hair is really shedding, hey? Um, this person made a foolish mistake. I'm hearing lapse in judgment. I feel like this person cheated on you. They brought a third party into the situation or they just didn't prioritize you. With the Seven of Cups, this person did have a lot of options and they didn't realize that all along you were the number one. You're in pre-Empress energy. You guys have nine pentacles. You only need one pentacle to be happy. Like that's like insanely, insanely good. This person was never sure about the connection until you ended. 
But during that time, I feel like you just taught this person so many lessons. I really do. I feel like this person, um, they really think about the unconditional love that you showed them. And I feel like that breaks their heart that they weren't able to reciprocate. Not that they weren't able, but they didn't want to because they had other options. Empress, I told you, I was picking up this pre-Empress energy. Some of you could have been highly intuitive or attached to this person intuitively. I do feel like this person still feels your energy or you still feel this person's energy. There is quite, quite a strong psychic bond here. Tell me about pile two, please. Tell me about pile two, please. The world again. Wow, yeah, this did end. This ended and you guys really moved on. Yin and yang. This person could have been, um, for some of you, your twin flame, if you, uh, you know, assign yourself to that sort of commentary here. If not, this person, like, really did compliment you. There was really a flow here. You might have even thought that this was your person, and then it ended. And for many of you, I'm hearing it ended suddenly. Adjacent possibilities. Yeah, it's like this person couldn't just be with you. They were always thinking about other people. It's like this person didn't want to give you. Yeah, they refused. Like, you're like all of these beautiful flowers here. And instead of walking through this this um, garden, this person just refused to to step through that. They refused to really take the love you were offering them. And now there's a lot of regret. Angel of strength. This person really thinks very highly of you, my loves. I feel like this person um, puts you on a pedestal. The problem with this person is that they have a shit ton of um, healing that they need to do. And I feel like you guys really try to facilitate some of that healing work for that person. But at the end of the day, you can't, you cannot help anybody but yourself. You can lead, you can lead a, a cow to water, but you can't make a drink, right? Like you really can't. This person just refused to drink. They refused to take accountability for their own life. And now it's like their appreciation for who you are is just really, really, um, exploding. Some of you could be doing very well for yourselves right now financially. I do feel like this person is watching you still. Um, this person was deceitful. They regret it so much. This person might struggle with stability. I'm even hearing mental mental um, disorders or something like this, anxiety, depression. I'm hearing pharmaceuticals, um, drugs. So for some of you, this person could be using substances or for some of you, this person might actually have a prescription for something to do with, with um, oh my gosh, my hair, with um, mental, mental health. I feel like you really force this person to do a lot of healing or you force this person to confront the parts of themselves that they really didn't want to. They weren't ready to confront it, but it's like you gave them no choice. What else here, please? Tell me about Pile 2. Who's appreciative of them? Who's so thankful for them? Kairos. Yeah, this person's still heavily watching you. I just feel like you force this person to really confront themselves. The threshold. What, like, what was I just saying? You can lead a fish, to, I was gonna say you can lead a fish to water. You, I guess you could lead a fish to water, but it's like you can lead an animal to water, but you can't make a drink. This person really needs to cross that, cross that threshold um, of healing for themselves. For some of you, I do feel like this person's right on the edge of contacting you. The lovers yeah you guys were this person's lover um I'm, i almost feel like some of you feel like this person was like a predator towards you or something i'm hearing predator and prey i just feel like this person was a lot more um strategic about wanting you the mystic some of you are psychic you could read tarot like me I do feel like you have quite a spark yourself and this person just refused to acknowledge your magic. I feel called to get one more here. Thank you. The underworld, yeah. My loves, this person really has to face their own, their own life. They have to face their own sadness and grief because let me tell you, this person is really, really struggling. You took this person to a dark, dark place and now you, you, they kind of feel like you left them there in order to do your, their healing. That being said, this person understands that they need to do this work, that you can't do this for them. They really do understand that. I do feel like this person is really struggling to let go of this connection and they feel grateful for all of the times you showed them compassion or you just showed them, I feel like I'm hearing unconditional love. 
I feel like you, you really show this person love when nobody else did. I'm also hearing for some of you that this person let you see them, like their true selves. And everyone else, you know, saw kind of a mask of who this person was. This person's really saying thank you for seeing me and thank you for loving me. You know, seeing my worst and loving me anyways. Um, for those of you who don't, who know who I'm talking about, but feel like this person doesn't think about you like that, please know that they do. They're just really, I feel like this person um, didn't have a chance to express a lot of that to you. How does Pile 2's person, tell me about Pile 2's person, trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I feel like some of you, this person broke your trust. This person might also be praying for the two of you to come back together. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Yeah, this person really messed up, you guys. And I do feel like because of it, you did walk away. You walked away from this connection because you felt like you couldn't trust this person anymore. And I feel like for some of you, this person messed up beyond repair, like flat out. They just did. So you pulled your energy away. Gratitude on the bottom of the deck. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So I feel like, like I said, this person is incredibly grateful for you. I feel like many of you pulled pulled away from this person. You, I feel like you guys, my loves, pile twos, I do feel like many of you do still love this person, but I kind of feel like you chose to love yourself more. So that is what I have for you guys today, my loves. Um, if that resonated, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If it didn't, that's totally fine too. I just wanted to say thank you for being here anyways. I really do appreciate your support, your kindness, your comments, your love. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, Pile Threes. If you chose this black pillar candle, then this is your reading. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at who is really, really, really appreciative of you. Let me just clear the energy off. These piles have been kind of heavy. Spirit guides, ancients, and ancestors. I'm tapping into the collective here that shows pile number three. What's going on with pile number three? Who's appreciative of them? Who's so, so, so thankful to know them? Pile three, thank you. The Emperor, this could literally be, for some of you, your dad, somebody older than you in Aries. This person could be very disciplined. Knight of Wands. We also have Fire here. What's going on here? Leo, Aries, Sag. There could be an age difference between you and this person. Magician, strong fire with this person. Wow. Six of Wands. Okay, two more spirit. Seven of Cups. King of Swords. Wow. Okay, let me tap into this. I do feel, like I said, that there could be an age difference between you and this person who's being very appreciative towards you. This person could have feel, could have feel, could have felt like you really um, shone a light on the pathway for them. I do feel like you somehow helped steer this person in towards victory. I feel like this person could have been or in some sort of a tricky situation. And you really came along and helped this person. I feel like this person could have made some impulsive, rash, or stupid, flat out stupid decisions in their life. And you've always been there to kind of help strategize with this person about how to get out of it. I feel like this person is very intelligent, but sometimes they're irrational. They're very intelligent, but sometimes they make cutthroat decisions and they don't always make the right thing or the right choice. This person could be culturally different um, from some of you. I do feel a sense here of difference, maybe at least in the terms, if it's not cultural, it could be religious or in the way that this person grew up, they are a very unique thinker. I feel like above anything else, this person likes to master their environment. They are very, very interested in mastering their life. I think that this person wants to exhibit, uh, you know, a sense here of control over their life, but their decisions sometimes take them off course. This person can have a very nice body or like to work out. They could be health focused or health conscious. For some of you, this person could have a higher level degree. I feel like you really helped this person make decisions. This person feels like you showed them love, kindness, and fairness when nobody else did. 
I feel like there's something about the way that you talk to this person that makes them feel like they, they, they can get out of anything. This person, for some of you, they do feel like their life didn't start until they met you, which is crazy because I do feel like this person really did live a full life. Some of you could have helped this person figure out like something big, like a course load or how to, which university program to get into or college. Like I am feeling like some of you really did help this person like, I don't know, like go down a path. Like I just keep seeing this person kind of like this mermaid looking at all these cups. And I think you guys are really the ones to illuminate which path for this person to take. This person has a high degree of trust for you. Um, for some of you, I do feel like you have been intimate with this person. I am getting a sexual energy here. Let's see what else we can find out. Tell me about pile three. Who appreciates my pile threes, please, spirit? Who's really appreciative for my pile threes? Seven of coins. I do feel like both of you were equally at one point invested in this connection, and then it did come to a painful ending. The Empress, Wow. This person feels like you turn on the freaking sun in the morning and you turn the moon on at night. Three of swords in reverse, native cups. One more. The hermit and the three of cups. Okay, okay, I'll take both of them. For some of you, this person could have um, had you in a third party situation or something like this. You, you know, somehow betrayed you, put you in some sort of really difficult situation. I feel like for many of you, you were a person who like actually invested in this person. And I feel like this person might not have had very many people care about them so much to invest in them. Do you know what I mean? Like there really is an energy here of investing, investing. Like I just keep hearing like that you invested in this person when nobody else would. This person could have Virgo in their chart. I do feel like this person really, really beats themselves up over the last few things that happened here or whatever it is that really caused this betrayal. With the Three of Swords in reverse, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you were to actually hear from this person again if you're in no communication. I feel like this person has so much love towards you that they didn't express. I feel like this person has so much love for you that they didn't really um, get to share. You, It's like you are really um, intuitive, I feel. You were able to pick up on this person when they were like, just about to, to overwork themselves or just about to make a stupid decision. It's like you guys almost had like a sixth sense when it came to this person and you shower this person with so much love and instead of really giving back to you, they, they really diluted the scenario and gave to other people, other lovers, or this could even be other things, you guys, like work, family, instead of giving you attention. It's funny because we did have the Empress here and on the back of the deck here, we have the Emperor. So I feel like for many of you, you did feel like this person was your true match or partner. You did feel a very big um, soul bond with this person. I do feel like this person really does want to communicate with you. But I am feeling here like a lot of you have already sort of closed this chapter. And I don't know if it's something you would want to reopen. They just really appreciate you for adding balance to their life when nobody else did. It's like you never forced this person to, I'm hearing choose you. Like, I feel like some of you guys were really, really um, forgiving of this person. Maybe even more forgiven than this person deserved. Okay. Tell me more, please. Why does Pile 3's person appreciate them? Seven Chakra, Archangel Uriel in reverse, okay. Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron, all tied up in reverse. It's like this person, you guys, I, I feel like you know who this person is because there is such a strong psychic sense here. Spirit is really trying to communicate with this person, but this person's trying to block all sorts of communication here from Spirit. With the Six Chakra, you again, there was this real sense of like, Feeling like this is your partner, feeling like this is your person, feeling like there is a bond here. You guys do have a psychic bond. This person was heavily invested here in limiting beliefs that hold, held this person back from committing to you fully or pouring more into this connection. I do feel many of you saw red flags with this person but refused to acknowledge them. Door to romance. Yeah, it's like because of this person's inability to see your worth, many of you did close that door. Angel of strength. 
You guys might have Leo in your chart. I do feel like you guys are very, very beautiful. There is something very mystical about you guys. You might also be psychic or very intuitive. This person did see you as family. You might have even had a family with this child. With this child, oh, sorry. With this person, you might have had a child with this person for some of you. Um, or this could be like someone who's literally in your family here. This person might, might have been giving into family um, paradigms or giving into their family. They could have believed their family over you, something like this. There was some sort of, I am hearing interference, you guys. So that could be, yes, a third party. But remember, a third party doesn't always have to be a person. It can be a variety of things. I feel like now you guys are really in a state here of really glowing up. This person, I feel, does want to approach you. They're feeling very impatient being away from you. Um, I feel like they do still have some, some work that they do need to do on themselves before they can approach you. But I just get the sense that you really never rushed or pushed this person. Maybe some of you wish you did, but this person's really grateful for the space you gave them in order to process. Tell me more, please. Tell me more, please. Tell me more about Pile 3. Who appreciates Pile 3, please? The Hunter. Wow. Okay, this person could have a very primal energy. You know, they could. there could have been a very, very intense sexual att attraction here. I feel like for some of you, you might have feel, felt like this person really hunted you down. The stone. This person might have been cold though, you guys. I do feel like this person really hid their heart from you. They weren't really open with how they truly felt. They were really um, performative. I'm hearing that word, that's weird. But I am hearing performative. When I feel like you guys know that this person, many of you guys, I feel know intuitively that this person loves you. The queen. Yeah, this person sees you as their queen. They see, well, the empress was there, right? So this person really does see you as everything. They really do, but you guys just, um, and it's funny because if you think of the queen, she's really a little bit higher than the hunter. So I feel like some of you guys did realize that you were actually like a little bit more spiritually felt than this person. The vessel. This person cannot stop thinking about your body. I do feel like for this person, you are a divine partner, um, regardless of gender. And I do feel like this person has highly sexualized thoughts towards you, but they also really, really miss you because they realized that they missed out on like a very, very big connection here. Thank you, spirit. The king. Oh my God. I can't make that shit up. You guys are really like a true match here. Like this is for many of you, your divine partner. We do have the prayer on the bottom of the deck. This person continues to really hope and pray um, that you'll come back together again. But I feel like this person is really appreciative of, of I feel like maybe some of you could have talked mysticism or spirit to this person. Um, and this really confronted, this really made them confront their shadow as well as do some inner healing. But this person does want to elevate to someone who um, you'll want to be with, I'm hearing. So maybe this person feels like they're not quite on your level yet. But I feel like this person, I do feel like if for those of you who aren't in, aren't in communication with this person, I feel like this person does want to come back in. For those of you who know who this person is and you are in communication Oh my gosh, you guys, this person just thinks of you so highly. It's almost ridiculous. What else here? Tell me more about Pile Three's person. Thank you. Empathy in reverse. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. So this person was selfish. They chose to only take what they wanted. They chose to only take what they wanted from you and not give back to you. This person's really regretful of that because they also really took advantage of your empathy. Adversity, I accept that challenges are the best ways to learn. So this always reminds me of the tower in tarot. Um, so there was a really painful ending. I feel like pulling one more. Happiness in reverse. I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. This person chose to be selfish over to give to this connection while you guys were the opposite. You chose to give to this connection. Um, and you chose to give selflessly. Now you guys are experiencing a lot of abundance and joy in your, in your life. And this person is not. This person is experiencing a lot of sadness um, and unhappiness and confusion and um, feeling stuck. I do feel like this person really did make their karmic choice here. And they are really struggling with the consequences. But you guys are really about to enter a powerful time in your life. So just remember that. I am sorry though, because I do feel like this was a painful ending for some of you here. 
So that is what I have for you today, Pile Threes. If that resonated, make sure to like and comment and subscribe. Um, all of the information to book a personal reading is down below. I'm so happy and grateful for you to join me here today. I do hope that you have a wonderful day, no matter where you are. Um, lots of love from me. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.